Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, <laughs> welcome back to the Scale Model Outlaw. Today is going to be video number three for the AMC Pacer Bill. What I've decided to do today, or for the next step, is go ahead and get started on blocking out these back windows. Now off camera I've done a lot of prep work, but basically what we started with here is putting in the, the glaze from Mr. Putty, uh, Mr. Hobby, Mr. White Putty. We put that in there first as a base. Try to get it laid down and start building up a little at a time from there. With that already in there, by the way, the Tamaya, if you watched the What's in the Bag Bro video, the Tamaya White Putty is the same stuff, just a different name. I personally think they both work the same. I don't see a difference in either one. But today, we are going to use our Valero putty and start building up. Now with this, with this putty, as it shrinks, or excuse me, as it dries, it shrinks. So it's kind of nice to build up a little bit past where we want it to be and then let it sink down. Now this won't be a very long video because as soon as I put this putty on there, it has to sit for quite some time to be able to, to harden up before we can even add another layer but um, it needs at least 24 hours to dry however I have already done that on the other side I haven't started to sand it but I've done it on the other side so we'll be able to get a look at what's going on again guys we're prepped up and I'm trying to make these videos in a time frame that seems to be good for the algorithm and seems to be good for what y'all want to watch. Uh, so again, basically we have the glass on the inside that we already talked about. Um, then I put the Mr. Putty over the outside. Now you can see that I'm worked. My first goal, even when it's still wet, is to leave that outside, that framework, so I can see it. Here, let me point it out to you. Here, so the framework of the outside of the window. So that's my guide, right? I want to keep that as clean as I can and be able to build up from there so eventually we're going to use that as a guide when we come along and smooth out all of our putty it's a pretty awkward contour so i want to build up past it and get it good and dry and then do what i call at my regular shop uh sneak up on it when we're building oh we can be building anything we can be building fiberglass tubs uh that go on jeeps at my regular shop We'll uh, cut it a little bit, you know, the fenders, if it's got headers on it, some aftermarket stuff. We'll cut it a little bit and then cut it a little bit because you can always cut more. It's hard to put it back. And with this case, you can always add more if you have to, but it's better to build up past it and then sand down to it. Nothing worse than getting three quarters of it right and finding a hole and then you got to add to it. Again, it can be done, but with it, if you're doing it, right you should be able to build up past it and sneak up on it all right guys i know the camera angle sucks again this is like my fourth or fifth video i am looking at cam regular gopros and then a camera that looks over my shoulder like a lot of these other guys have but until then we'll just have to deal with what we got my hand my big fat hands will have to get in the way every once in a while um but we are definitely working on moving in that direction Alright, so we're taking our Mr. Putty, getting it up here, and we're just going to add to it. Just add more putty. Start around the outside frame, build it up. Build it up, build it up, build it up. Now, it's funny that i uh doing this kind of work here at this little shop, because I refuse to do any body work at the Jeep shop. <laughs> Again, about the closest we come to body work is fiberglass tubs but uh, even if we're at work if we're even uh, cutting stuff with a plasma you know cutting out brackets making some new links or whatever I'll always cut it a little longer and build up to it or sneak up on it so far we got that spread around there around the outside it doesn't have to be perfect uh, we're going to try to smooth it a little bit with the toothpick but I like to build up a border around the outside and then just kind of fill it in and uh, again, we know that we're going to have to sand. This is a lot of work. 
it may not be the best way to do it. Uh, there may be other ways out there. I, this is how I know to do it. I'm, I'm like y'all. I'm constantly looking on the old YouTubes and following guys like the Blue Ox. And, I mean, Blue Ox, he doesn't do a lot of uh, uh, builds, which is fine. He does a lot of demos showing his stuff off, but he's a bit of an inspiration for me because he's from the Northeast. I was born in the Northeast. And I watch his videos, and I hear that old accent up there. And uh, it kind of inspired me to go ahead and start doing mine. So here we are. So if it's bad, we can blame him. But uh, if nothing else, be sure and go over and mash his subscribe button. And uh, tell him I sent you. He has no idea who I am. I'm just being honest with you. Uh, but he, too, is a Jeep guy. So we have a little bit in common there. I've I found him just like you guys may have found me, strolling along Facebook one day, or not Facebook, but YouTube, and stumbled across it. But, all right, so there we go. We got our first layer of putty on, and I assure you, even though that looks like it's gobbed on there, we're probably going to need another layer. If nothing else, we're going to need to smooth it out. So I'm going to let that shrink up a little bit. This is the part that uh, you, know, you can't capture all this on, on film. But we're going to let it shrink up a little bit, get a little malleable. Right now, it's like... It's like thin toothpaste. You touch it, it's going to go all over the place. Here's the other side that I got close. Obviously, it's you know rough as a cob right now, but again, paying special attention to my outside frame. I do not want to lose this. You can see we're on the other one. I got some goop over here, but I can still find my frame. And before I even start sanding, I'll pick this little stuff off. You see it right there, it's on that edge. I'm going to pick that little, I know I, that line's there, but I want it. I'm going to pick that off around the edge, and then come up through here and get it all nice and clean, so when I go to sand this down, those are going to be my guides. Those are what I want to come down to. And I feel like I got enough on that one. It looks like I got enough on there. We'll know for sure whenever we uh, get it sanded, see how it lays down, and obviously whenever we primer it, that'll tell on us right wrong or indifferent all right so while we let that dry up i do have another part that i've been working on that's been pretty customized oh to give you yeah to give you an idea of the tools you use for that obviously we just use the putty but building the uh we cut out the center section for my chassis for the for the uh iceman v1 chassis kit so it can fit up in here. Now I do you see on here I've got it marked for my wheel tubs. Those are just eyeballed for now. I actually want to put it back in the car and see where the tires fit to get it close. But my cover from taking out what was my back seat and back floor trunk hatch area, whatever you want to call it, we're going to take these pieces, build some pieces, and then we're going to build a piece that comes up over the top of here. We're going to build those, and then I'm going to cover it with, so there's pieces that we built there, and I'm going to cover it with uh, those disposable aluminum pans that you get for like at Thanksgiving or whatever. Uh, we're going to use those to cover it with and use our rivet tool to put rivets in it to make it look like an aluminum piece. So, obviously we got these two pieces in place, it's just taped right now. Because I have to build the top piece. I'm not going to build that tonight because I've got to get a new heat gun. I will basically mock this uh, this radius, you call it, right here on both sides. I will get my uh, crap can't go. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of my tool. It's a contour tool basically i forget the exact name for it but it's a tool that's got a bunch of small pins in it and then you can lay it up there i believe it's called a contour contour tool but we'll lay it up there and that'll give us the contour so when i go to get my plastic and get it heated up i can lay it in there and match that contour that way uh, and like i said lay that down there and cover it all up and then cover that again with aluminum from the dinner pan. I could have just used aluminum from the dinner pan, but it's not quite heavy enough. Like if this was just a, that regular aluminum, it will wobble in and out and I didn't I didn't want that. So we put just a little bit of thin plastic in there. Got that from uh I believe that's old, very old uh 
green, green. What is the name of that company? I am batting a thousand today, guys, and I'm going to go ahead and put this video up, even though I am batting a thousand, not remembering anything's name, because it just goes to show that we're doing it in real time. Ah, Evergreen. That's the name of it. I had to go over here to the toolbox, pull it out, and look at the label. But it's just old Evergreen plastic. I'm pretty sure it is. I've carried, this is a piece I've carried around a long time, but just real thin plastic. And again, we're building it up. We're building a structure or a frame if you will for the aluminum and then once the aluminum's on the uh, outside of it the part that will be showing on the inside we can do our frame color for our you know probably going to go in a matte black or something like that we'll seal it up and make it look good on the bottom side but we're probably going to have to build some tubs like i said that's when we're laying it in there for that but get some tubs built for it but I just wanted to take a few minutes. I have made a video that got us from, you know, on that on that piece there. A lot of sanding. This one here is a lot of cutting. It's like an hour long. Uh, it's kind of a sub video in between one and two and two and three, I guess. And I'm going to go ahead and post it up tonight. But it's an hour long video, so I'm sure it won't get a whole lot of views. And it certainly won't get a whole lot of views that carry it all the way through if you guys want to great but i can't blame you for not wanting to sit there for an hour but to give you a little bit of an idea of what this stuff looks like when it's wet it, it, it really <laughs> you can't do much with it because it just it's just so runny and it, if there's somebody out there that knows if i'm doing something wrong as far as why it's so runny i think it's just the way it is but i like to let it sit up a little bit before I try to work with it because it's just really, really, really soft and runny. Well, Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for now. We're going to post up uh, some more videos. Of that big video, I'll, I'll go ahead and post that up tonight. Uh, also, I've got a uh, video I'm going to do about some, some stuff for the actual bench. I'm going to build us a, a paintbrush holder. So that'll be a little quick video coming up next uh probably next day or so depends on how busy we get at work but i'm going to use the drill press at work so it's going to be one of those deals where uh you won't see the actual work getting done but we'll do it in steps because all i really got to do is drill the holes out but long and short i'm going to turn these two guys without dropping it on my pacer and crushing it i'm going to turn these two guys into a paintbrush magic marker holder I'm going to stack them on top of each other, drill holes in one of them for the paintbrush to sit down into, and then use it like that. So, when we get that going, we'll let you know and make a video for it. But, till then, y'all keep up doing what you're doing, and hopefully you're liking what you see. And, uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.